This is my lactase enzyme activity with data analysis. In this simulation, you can manipulate how much lactose you add to the simulation. You can adjust the temperature of the environment, and you can adjust the pH. Additionally, you can either run the simulation with five millimoles of lactase enzyme, or you can run it without any lactase enzyme. If you want to reset the conditions, just hit reset and it'll return to default settings. And what's going on in the simulation is you have lactose, which interacts with the lactase enzyme. When it binds to the active site on the lactase enzyme, the lactose with the catalytic activity of the enzyme gets broken down into two molecules, one being glucose and the other being galactose. In the simulation, let's say you have a bunch of this, you have lactose in a test tube, the lactase enzyme in a test tube, in a solution. And as you run the experiment, the lactase enzyme is slowly going to break the lactose down into these two products. When we run the simulation, this is what's accumulating is the glucose concentration. And that's really what you're measuring over time is the accumulation of glucose. You can also see how much of the monosaccharide glucose is accumulating in the test tube during a color change. So as we run the simulation, you can see that it changes color as a buildup of glucose. And with this simulation, you can run experiments over and over and over again, run the same conditions. And by clicking on the graph, each run displays the quantity of glucose concentration at each time. So you can run experiments, you can record the rates, and you can manipulate different variables to see how it's going to affect the production of the enzyme on the glucose concentration.